these are troubled times. Without leaders, chaos reigns. Two worlds colliding. You're damn right these are troubling times. You keep killing my 80s superhero cartoons. We'll discuss it right now. What's good, life gainers? All knowing, all loving, all sad, just damn sick of having my childhood heroes ruin Mr. Damn Everything, Sexy as Hell host of Life Game Channel, Lamont Tyson. My eyes are covered because I don't want y'all to see the tears in my eyes and I don't want my mama to see the emotions in my eyes when she looks at these videos. Guys, Transformers. <sighs> I haven't been this depressed since I left seeing Power Rangers and I am sick and tired of my childhood heroes being ruined. Before I get into my story, as I always do, I give you the background on the director, which he's world known. I give you the background on the main actors, which these guys are world known. And then we'll get right back into the video. I'm depressed. Right, stop! Can't do this! The operation is over. We're not keeping up on Prime, okay? So after seeing that, this is this not going to be a real spoiler. This is just going to kind of be the highlights. Ladies and gentlemen, a lot of what's going on with our superhero movies, I blame Marvel for this shit. And this might be a rated R YouTube superstar video. And when I say that, that means it might be some cussing because I am just depressed. This is the second movie dealing with some of my childhood heroes that has just left me leaving the theater emotional and dejected. If you didn't see my Power Rangers review, the link is right there. Check it out. I was very emotional in that one. And when I go and see those heroes from that time period, I get emotional if the movie sucks. This one was not that good. It was all over the place. Let's talk about what was good. Special effects are always immaculate, all right? Optimus Prime and Bumblebee, anytime they're on the screen, it's great. It's lovely, it's wonderful, it's beautiful. But all the other stuff, my God, Lord Jesus Christ, what in the... I'm wondering, did some of these guys even really read the script to know that this was going to be a failure? So... The whole movie is about them going after this artifact to help save the Earth. And the reason why I say I'm blaming Marvel is because a lot of our action movies nowadays have started to try to interject comedy into the movies. And if you can do it and it works, you've got a hell of a movie. That's a great recipe for long-term success and garnering a crowd of people that wouldn't normally come see your action movies. They tried that in this movie. 
And it bombed terribly. I mean, golly, man. It just bombed terribly. And Mark Wahlberg's character, I wasn't all that fond of the character. I mean, he, you know, I'm just at a loss for words. I mean, right now, guys, I am so dejected, so depressed, so just damn down trotting. I might need to go get me a Prozac. I, I, I mean, what can we do to fix this movie? I think it's time for them to just do a complete reboot. That That's it. That's all we can do. It is time to do a complete reboot of Transformers. I really love the first one. And I do. I like the I like the third one too, but the last two that have come out, I haven't been a big fan of it. You've seen what IMDb is giving it. Ba barely five. Life Games is gonna get this thing about. I give it a four because, like I said, the special effects and Bumblebee and Prime are always immaculate. Um, the trailers don't tell the whole story of this movie. But I'm telling you the whole story of this movie. And at all costs, you stay your butt home and you wait for this thing to come on whatever your favorite streaming apparatus is, Netflix, Hulu, I don't give a shit. You just wait because it is my job as a movie lover and an opinion piece person for movies and entertainment to let you guys know when I can give you that life game and saving money and you better not go to this movie. Even if you are an avid Transformers fan, let me know what you felt because I got to think you a little bit dejected because I, I consider myself to be an avid Transformers fan and I'm not even about to show y'all my damn eyes. They're so red and bloodshot. I mean, man, I am just, I need to pick me up today. So life game scale four, you wait and stream this shit. Don't you waste your hard-earned money in the movie theater. Mark Wahlberg, Anthony Hopkins, did you read the script? That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video. Comment. Fucking subscribe. Go get yourself a life game. Stream this shit. Till the next Sex is Hell video. I'll see you.